Hi, my name is Julia, and I am a third-year medical student rotating with Dr. Benzer at the Cardiovascular Institute. So continuing off of what Clay talked about, we are going to be looking at this EKG, and the first thing we'll look at is the rate. So let's start with this complex using the shortcut rule, starting with the big boxes from about here to here, 300 to 150 to 100 to 75 to 60 to 50, and you can see that the next QRS complex is definitely after um, 50, and so this is less than 50 beats per minute. This would indicate bradycardia for sure. The next thing you want to do is look at the rhythm. Let's see if there's a P wave for every QRS. I think the easiest way to look at that is down here where you see these little P waves. And if I can mark the P waves for you using these red arrows, you see that they are occurring at regular intervals. They are not irregular. They're all occurring at the same time or in regular intervals. Therefore, this is sinus bradycardia. But why are the ventricular complexes occurring at different rates? The reason for this is that there is an AV block. And which type of AV block? It is the third degree AV block. You see that the atrial complexes, indicated by the red arrows, are occurring at faster rates than the ventricular rates. And therefore, that means that there's no communication from the supraventricular areas to the infraventricular areas. So if we want to go over everything again, we are looking at sinus bradycardia and a third degree AV block with AV junctional escape complexes indicated by the red arrows. Indicated by the blue arrows would be considered junctional escape complexes and the red arrows would be P-leaves. Thanks.